Hi everyone, my name is Peter and in this video we're going to take a look at some of the Gemini admin controls we have for managing Gemini on Google Workspace. So first of all, let's look at how we can turn Gemini on for our users. This is available under Apps, Google Workspace and Gemini. And from here, just like any other Google app, we've got control of turning the service on or off for different groups of users. So you can control group membership here or by OU over here. We also have some user access options here. So this enables us to customize our Gemini access further. So from here, I could either only allow users with a Gemini for Workspace license to access Gemini or I can allow all users to access Gemini, whether they have a Gemini for Workspace license or not. And talking about license assignments, we can assign Gemini for Workspace licenses by either looking for a user and assigning it manually here. So let's do that now and give my account a Gemini license. So let's select that user. Then if we scroll down and select licenses, and then from here, we can select the type of Gemini license we want to assign, depending on what you've purchased for your domain. So in this case, Gemini Education. Let's go for Gemini Education Premium and unlock full access to Gemini. And now let's select Assigned and press Save. We can, of course, also turn on automatic licensing provisioning for Gemini by going to Billing and Subscriptions and from here, we can see how many Gemini licenses we have available, how many are assigned, and of course, manage our automatic license assignment there as well. And just to highlight, this only applies to OUs. You can't unfortunately assign based on group membership. Okay, so that's how we assign licenses and get Gemini available to our users. But once it's assigned, we now have this helpful generative AI section and Gemini reports here. And this gives us an overview of how many licenses we have assigned and how many users are actively making use of Gemini. So just to highlight, firstly, the red line here shows how many licenses we've assigned and the blue line, the lower line, is just showing how many active users we have on Gemini. Now there's not too many active on this domain, but I think one of the reasons for that is this is currently only tracking usage if you're engaging Gemini using uh, Gemini for Workspace. So that means if you're using Gemini within Google Docs, Sheets or Slides, that usage gets counted. What isn't currently being counted, but will be soon, is if users are going directly to gemini.google.com and interacting with Gemini directly there. That's currently not being counted in this graph. So once that's changed, I'd expect to see that much higher on this domain. There's other, there is one other usage stat here, which uh, is quite useful for looking at Gemini usage. If we go into our directory and go into users, and now I'm just gonna filter this by uh, one of my OUs and look at users in here. So we can add a couple of columns on here for Gemini limit status and Gemini usage. Let's add these to our report and we get some uh, other useful information here. So uh, for all of these users, no one is currently approaching their limit. This essentially means if you're assigned a Gemini license like the Gemini education license, that is limited to a thousand queries per month and it would be highlighted here if any users were approaching that. We can also see in this other column, Gemini last usage, whether how long ago uh, a user has used Gemini. So that will be updated there. And of course you can export this for all of your users or the currently filtered users and do some further analysis in Google Sheets. So that's everything which is currently possible using Gemini in the admin console and managing options available there. I'm expecting this to develop a lot more in the future and there'll be additional reports and more information we can see about how our users are using Gemini uh, to make sure you know, we're assigning the licenses to the right individuals and we're making the best use 
out of our license assignments. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.